Hello, welcome to tutorial 198. And the first thing I'm going to suggest is that if you have not done so already, that you go to tutorial 192 and watch the video there because there is a lot of commonality between this tutorial and that. But let me just first of all show you what this one does and how it um, does it somewhat differently from 192. And I had a couple of requests for this. So I'm just going to press a Control R to refresh my screen and Tutorial 192 did something like this. You would to click on a bar. The program detected that you clicked on that bar and it would plot the anchored volume weighted average price or the estimated anchored volume weighted average price, which we will call the AVWAP. And what we can do is hover over that and we can see the information about the values. And uh, I had a couple of people saying to me, well, why can't we have more than one of these on the chart at once? So for example, if we click on another bar, you'll see that uh, that it moves. So what I've done in this program is if, if you click on a bar while holding the control key, you will see that we get the AVWAP. But if I now click on another bar, you'll see that we get another AVWAP. And if I click on another with the, uh, the control key, depressed, you'll see that we keep on getting those. These are actually being drawn on the chart. So if we hover over them, we can see uh, information from a value that's been plotted, but we can't see the information for the drawn lines. Now, if we were to go and do another plot by just clicking a bar, you'll see that we, uh, we get those lines as well. Now, one of the other factors about the uh, the lines that are drawn, in other words, in this case, the green and the, uh, the the red color lines that are drawn, they are not updated as time goes by. So I'm just going to clear the screen again. It's going to go, it's going to plot using control, click on a bar, and I'm then going to click on that same bar so that we've actually got a plot and the drawn line. And so you'll see now that we can actually see those those values. And uh, if you look carefully, you'll see that what we do have is this plot will continue. So that will keep this up to date, but unfortunately we can only have one plot on the chart doing this uh, for the drawn AVWAP. Now this was mentioned in the tutorial 192 video, but just, just to reiterate in this case, and I'm doing it slightly differently, what I think is easier is to input a number of bars back. In this case, I've used 2000. And then for the study, I've set manually the, uh, the max bars back that the study will reference. So what I've done, I put that to be a thousand. And that means that for the first thousand bars we can click a bar and we will get the uh, the lines plotted uh, without the chart having to recalculate in other words to uh, to find out the number of bars and that that makes no sense then i explained that in the uh, tutorial 192 video so let's have a look at the inputs for tutorial 198 where you'll see that quite a few of them are related to the color of the plots and the drawings. And uh, what I've done, I've used the method in the program to enable us to use these uh, color objects within the plot statement. But the, the first ones, the dodge blue and the gold in this case, they are for the plots and the others, uh, or, and um, the RT plot color, RT plot stand dev color, that means real time. So as the plot continues to be developed in real time, then the color of the plot changes. And then the other colors, uh, salmon and spring green, those are the ones that we're using for when we uh, control click on a bar. Teal style is the, uh, the style of the line that's being used for the control click. In fact, it's probably actually meaningless because we're drawing so many little lines that any differences be difficult to, to see anyway. Then we have the VWAP weight. This is the, uh, the weight of the drawn lines, the uh, VWAP weight and the SDEV weight, the weight of the uh, the lines. In, in other words, when we control click a bar and then the number of uh, deviations, I've got that set to. Okay, so let's have a look at the program. Again, a lot of this is very similar to 192. The uh, the program will be available for download if you, uh, if 
you don't want to type it in or, or uh, modify your existing program, let's just go through it and see what is new. The, uh, the chart element click again, this is charting host, I explained in the 192 video, and we're clearing the existing plots, or rather we're setting them to be transparent. We're then going to be using vectors, and this is where we clear the vectors in the program. I'll explain those in a moment, because what we do, we do the calculation of the VWAP like we did in 192, but the only difference here is we're storing the values into a vector, a VWAP vector and a dev vect. And notice that we're doing that using insert and we're inserting it at the zero position and then the other values are sort of shunted up the, uh, the vector. Now we detect if the control key is pressed using this syntax. So this is within, we're still within when a chart, charting host chart element click, uh, when a, a bar is clicked. But within this, we're also now checking whether the control key is down. If it is, then we know that we need to draw uh, a VWAP and we're doing that using these drawing objects. So we go through a loop for all the bars between the click bar and the, uh, the, the first bar or the, uh, the newest bar on the chart. And uh, we do that by creating a BN point. And I've used this, uh, this the, um, the first bar or the, the last bar on the chart, as you probably may know that uh, to convert from the regular bar number to the bar number used by the drawing objects, we need to add max bars back and minus one. So we do that for the, what I've called the end bar. And then we cycle through the bars uh, in each, for each cycle with removing, subtracting one from end bar. Then we go around the cycle again. So the two points uh, for each little segment of this, uh, this line, it's gonna be the end bar minus one, the end bar, and then the values for the VWAP vect and v VWAP vect control minus one. And that gives us the, the appropriate values. And they are then put in to create a trend line. We don't want the, uh, we do want the value to persist, but we don't want it to be extended to the right. This is where we enter the color, the weight, the style, then we add it to the chart. And very similar for the standard deviation for the upper line and for the lower line. Then here is the method to convert a, color objects into a legacy color that can be used in the plot. I think that was something like um, quick tip 33, but anyway, here it is in all its uh, little glory. The one statement we need to create our vectors that we use to store the, the VWAP and the, uh, the dev. I've used this little format here. So instead of using bar number, I've said bar BN is equal to current bar. And then at the end, we have this uh, place where we calculate the real time values of the VWAP and the standard deviations. And again, this applies to the plot. It does not apply to the drawn lines. And that is the tutorial program. Hopefully it might be useful to you. And of course, if you have any questions, then please uh, email, email me. Hello. So, so one of the things I noticed uh, as I was putting the video together was that if we had a situation where we created a plot, for example, towards the left of the chart, and then we created another one, and this is a plot, not the uh, control click. This is just a, a straight click. You would see that we had the values displayed on the screen. But if we went back to older bars, you'd see that we had spurious values included there left over from the previous plot. Now it's up to you, uh, your preference, but I would suggest that maybe a safer, as charts can become a little uh, confusing, a safer option would be in style for the indicator to, to de-click the display plot for those three lines. And that means that now we're not going to get that information included here, but equally, we're not going to get spurious information included for the old plots that have been made transparent. 